Good evening. Tonight I'm going to be finding, doing a mo one more time consuming question here and finding all six trig ratios for uh, angle theta, being that it has a terminal arm going through point 8 and negative 6. I'm going to say that point is over here and it's going to quickly draw this line here to show the terminal arm and make it a 90 degree triangle as well. Okay, so here we go. And angle theta is going to be in standard position, so it starts right here and it goes around, of course. But in order to find sine, cos, and tangent, and everything else, we're going to be using the reference angle right here. Excellent. So this is point 8 and negative 6, meaning that the length of this leg of the triangle will be 8, and this coming down here will be negative 6, because it's the it's a negative y coordinate. Okay, so let's find the hypotenuse to get started. So r squared, I'm going to call it r. r squared equals 8 squared plus negative 6 squared. r squared is 64 plus 36. r squared is 100. Therefore, r is going to be the root of 100, which is 10. Do I need to make it plus or minus? No, because this is just a um, the length of this line, so it's positive 10. And so let's get started. Sine theta. Uh, I'm just going to write Sokotoa here so that everyone remembers what sine, cosine, and tangent are. So sine is opposite of our hypotenuse. So we're looking at this angle, theta, opposite over hypotenuse, negative 6 over 10. And we can, of course, simplify this into negative 3 over 5. Wonderful. Okay, now cosine. Cosine of theta will be adjacent over hypotenuse. Theta, the adjacent will be 8. Hypotenuse, again, will be, five, be 10. Sorry, I was going to say 5. But, um, so that will be 8 over 10. Simplifies into 4 over 5. Then we have tangent of theta and tangents opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent, so negative 6 over 8, which just simplifies into negative 3 over 4. Now I can find all the reciprocal ratios as well. The reciprocal of sine is cosecant of theta, and it will be just the reciprocal of this, which is negative 5 over 3, which is flip the fraction. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. The reciprocal of fi 4 over 5 will be 5 over 4. And finally, the reciprocal of tangent is cotangent of theta. The reciprocal of negative 3 over 4 is just negative 4 over 3. And that's it. Hopefully that made excellent sense to everyone. And once again, thank you for watching.